Welcome in to Moments of the Season. My name is Alex Gould and I'm your host for this segment by the CWRU Athletics Department, which takes a look back at the year in Spartan sports. Today, we'll be looking into the top moment for our men's basketball team, their win over Emory University. The Spartans were a much improved team in 2019-2020 and were continuing to find their footing throughout the year. Heading into their Emory matchup, CWRU won five of their last six out-of-conference games and were victorious in four of their last six UAA games versus NYU twice, Brandeis, and the University of Rochester. Though CWRU had been building momentum prior to this head-to-head -head battle, including an overtime win over Rochester just two days earlier, Emory was one of the top teams in the country. They were ranked as the eighth best team in all of the Division III standings and held first place in the UAA. So on senior day at Horsburg Gymnasium in Cleveland, the Spartans had quite the tough task ahead. However, CWRU came out strong early on and built a 47-39 lead by the time the first buzzer sounded for halftime. Pacing the Spartans was senior Monty Kella, who made six of his nine shots in the opening half for 16 points, while sophomore Robert Fowler came off the bench to net 14 points over the first 20 minutes. I'm just trying to catch my breath. That being said, Emory would not give up without a fight. They came back roaring in the second half to cut the lead to one point at 79 to 78 with 14.4 seconds left. However, the Spartans held strong as Kella and first year Cole Frilling each made free throws in the final seconds for CWRU to help secure the victory. Kella led the charge that day with a career high of 30 points in his last ever home game. Whatever Monty had for breakfast this morning, he should continue to have for breakfast every morning for the rest of his life. While Frilling added 24 points and seven rebounds. This win was the first Spartan victory against the Eagles since the 2015-16 season, and their second of the season against a nationally ranked opponent. It also assured CWRU of its first winning record since the 2014-15 season.